In this episode, we're headed up north to Bradford County to a little cabin I grew up going to as a kid. We're going to spend some time with family as well as do a lot of hunting. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, I just got up into the stand and uh, it's not ideal. This is a rifle stand, so they have like shooting rests everywhere, and it's like standing height. I, I literally can't shoot at the back of me here. I have one shot, and it's right in front of me. It's going to be difficult to say the least, but it's November 3rd, so anything could happen at any time. So like usual, I'm gonna give it, it's four o'clock right now. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. And uh, then we're gonna start clanging the horns together and stuff and doing all that good stuff. So, I got like two and a half hours to hunt, but it's the rut. They could come in on a string in a 30 seconds. <laughs> I just got word, my cousin shot a buck, so I'm down, and uh, let's hope, let's hope we can find this thing for him, it's his first buck ever. Which one, was it the big one? The arrow. Was it the big one? No, six point. Okay. I watched him, Eric, for probably two hours. Oh my God. Yeah, tell me about That's a lot of self-control, That's a lot of just sitting there and like. Not moving. The only thing I got him to respond to was a snort wheeze. Yeah. You wouldn't listen to the grunt. Could you hear me rattling? Oh, dude, I was clanging them together something fierce. Did you hear what happened after you shot? So I heard him run into the woods and it sounded like he crashed. All right, that's good. That's what it sounded like. And then dead silence. Dead silence. That's good. That's very good. I waited good. about 25, 30 minutes, went down, checked it. Okay. How long has it been since you shot? It's 6.18. An hour. Okay. Then it's good enough. It around 505, it's good enough to go look for it then by now. Yeah, I wanted to come back because I had Yeah. That and I don't know. You can probably tell the arrow and see what I hit or Yeah. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's bubbles. And like right on the end of it. It doesn't smell like uh it doesn't smell like guts. No, but right on the end, isn't that lung? That little oh, blot. Where did you hit him? Do you know? I couldn't tell you. Okay. It looked good. And like I told Steven, it had a pop. Okay, that's good. He ran directly right. He took like one step this way and then went that way. So don't, don't do that. Do you know where he ran in at? Right in there. You yeah. see where that, that deadish tree is? Yep. Right through there. All right. Try it right here, Steven. I thought I saw blood. He's red. You might not get it for a couple yards. Yeah, these, this red leaf here is really... Mama, do you have your phone? Yeah. Just so I can use your flashlight to sell my lessons. He ran in here, did you hear silence? Two, three seconds? Yeah, it wasn't long. Okay. I mean, there's a, there's, there's a lot of stuff for him to hit in here, but at the same time, there's not a lot of stuff for him to hit in here. Yeah, James. Oh. He is a six pointer, correct? Or at uh, least a three pointer. You gotta count it, buddy. <laughs> One, two, 
fucking thing. You stay here until I say. He's a six. Yep. Let me see where I am. A little, or a little back, a little high. What are you talking about? The thing's dead. I understand that. I wanted to see where I hit him though. Why well, should we find a drop of blood though? I'll tell you what, I was getting a little antsy there. Not a single, I bet you, James, you probably didn't come in where you thought. Probably not. You're right. In it, the heat of the looks, moment, it happened so quick. It all looks the same. Yep. Too. What do you think I hit him? Lungs. You hit him right here, James. I know that, but lungs? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's lung blood. What's 100%. this? Exit hole? No. Entrance Which hole? way was he facing? He was... Did he, get... he got shot before, James. That's not good. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Either you... He's been shot before. You hit him down there. You heart shot him. That's heart. See how bright red that is? Yep. For the colorblind kid to say that... That's I don't know good. if he got shot, but I, he might have gotten gored. That's where you got him. He might have... No exit hole? James, you, heart, you heart shot him. You absolutely yeah, heart shot him. Insane. But that... You, that's, that's where we saw He might have gotten gored by another deer. It's possible. I mean, it isn't a slice, it's a punch. Steven might be right with that. And there's nothing but that's where I thought side. you shot him. That's why I said. That's what it, I thought. Right there, right there. But it looks like it came out right here. You shot him from this side. Yeah, because he was facing that way. Okay. Yeah, dude, you freaking heart shot him. I'm surprised you didn't have more blood. Can't see that flashlight real quick. Like I said, I was right there. Right there. Yep. He came in in a different spot I think than he what did. you thought. He must have. He must have came in. It, it's. It's. It happens to everybody. It don't matter now, but. No. But now I you know. Worried. Next time, you have to. Oh, you know what? He be even more observant. Yeah. I thought you were very observant to begin with from what you said, but... I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what? We missed this. Because there's... Yeah, there's... Yep. So he went to the right of that tree. Yep. just saw the buck that we're after. Him and I had a stare down for a little while. Um, he totally caught me off guard. I don't think I got him on video at all. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to sound like I'm a deer walking through the woods. And uh, as dumb as it sounds, I think I'm going to try to grunt and walk. I saw me was probably like 75 yards away. Yeah. <laughs> 
that did not work. I wish I would have kept better sight of him. Seen where he went, I think. He went back into the pines here. I don't really want to go in there because it's it's a very quiet spot. And I know I won't be all that quiet in there. It's better to have an idea of where he went than push him out of there and never get an opportunity at him later. So I'm going to go back to, to the cabin regroup eat I gotta charge my camera battery